Uh, hi, today we will see how to install a tail scale on QNAP. Uh, for this, we are going to use QNAP's uh, container station GUI, which means that you will never have to look at the command prompt or run any complex commands at all. It will be a completely point and click. The only prerequisite is that you must have a QNAP that supports container station. So, let's look for container station. If this is not installed, you can install it from the App Store. On container station, we click on create and look for the image of the container tail scale. It shows me a local image because I already downloaded it, but for you, it will show you the Docker Hub uh, tab. And you're looking at the official uh, tail scale image, which is tail scale slash tail scale. Click on install. Choose the choose the latest version. Click on next. And the only setting that we are going to have to change here is uh, the network setting. If you click on advanced settings and look at network, you will see that the default network mode is NAT. We will have to change it to host mode and create. And click on OK. The host name here, QNAP 473, is the uh, host name that it, all, it takes by default, but you can uh, change it if you want. Uh, click on OK wait for it to create the container and when you look at the overview which shows you the list of all the running uh, containers it shows you the tail scale container is already running so now this is already running and your vpn tunnel has been created all that's left for you now is to add this uh, vpn uh, add, add this, uh, this machine to your account for that when you click on the machine you see the auth link it tells you that to author authenticate, you need to visit this link. You do that, open this link in the new tab. It takes you to Tailscale's login page. I was already logged in, so it simply uh, showed me that the authorization was successful and it will show me now the list of all the machines um, that are available for me. Uh, this is a Windows machine and this QNF 473 you can see is here and it's connected it's been given an ip address as well the only drawback is um, that this uh, every time uh, you uh, restart your container uh, the machine name and the uh, id changes which means that you would have to every time uh, revisit this uh, link to uh, authorize it's not a big deal because you don't uh, restart the container station a lot but this is something you should know that you cannot use a, a, a persistent uh, sort of a, a connection uh, and this is something called as uh, ephemeral which means that this is a short-lived uh, you know temporary based uh, kind of a, uh, connection that's uh, that's handed out but this uh, uh, this it stays for as long as your machine is online uh, if now you log into any windows or android or ios machine um, with the uh, tail scale you will be able to access your QNAP. This is it. Um, if you have any questions or queries, please, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you.